Welcome to the final part of the Tetris game. There are only two things we have left to cover. Number one is the sound. This one is super easily added. Number two is logic for a game over. In my case, this part is going to be quite simple. If there's a game over, then the game is going to close down. Let's jump right in. I suppose we could start with the game over mechanic. That is going to happen inside of game.py. In there, I want to minimize all of the methods and now let's think about it. How can we tell that there is a game over? And the easiest way is that if there's a block on top of the field when we are creating a new tetromino, then we know that the game is over. Which means inside of there, we can add one more method, which could just be self.check game over. This method doesn't exist right now, so let's create it. Check game over. No need for any custom parameters. And in there, we want to check for every single block in the current tetromino if the position of that block, once it has been placed, is below zero. In practice, that means for block in self.tetromino.blocks. And in there, we want to check if block.post.y is smaller than zero. If that is the case, we can simply end the game with the exit method. This one is not available in game.py right now. We only have that one inside of main.py, but that we can change super easily. All we have to do is from sys import exit. The only thing that you really want to be aware of is that you want to call this check game over before you are creating a new tetromino. Because once you are creating a new tetromino, all of the blocks are going to be different. So this wouldn't apply anymore. This check game over is going to check the previous tetromino, not the one we are creating down here. But other than that, this one is basically done. So let's try all of this. And I simply want to crash the game. So I'm going to add pieces. And at some point, the game simply closes down. With that, we have a game over scenario. That wasn't so bad. So for the final bit, we have to add the sound. This we do in main.py and inside of game.py. There are only two music files that we want to play. If I open the project again, so here's the project. We have code and graphics basically covered. The last bit is inside of sound. There we have a landing sound and a background music. That's basically all we need. For now, I want to play the background music. This is going to happen inside of the main class. In there, first of all, I have to import the music. Let's add another section for audio. In there, I want to have self.music. Music we are importing with pygame.mixer.sound. For that one, we will need one argument, which is the path towards the file. And for that, we also want to use the join method which we don't have available right now. Let's import it from os.path import join. And then inside of sound, I want to join the parent folder. Next argument is going to be, I call this one the sound folder. And in there we have music.wav. If you run the game now, there shouldn't be an error message. If you have one, then something went wrong with the import. Now, to actually play the music, you need self.music.play. Let's try. I hope it's not too loud. This is always very hard to tell when you're recording. If you find the music too loud on your end, you can simply use self.music and then set the volume. That method wants to have a value between 0 and 1 with one being the maximum volume and zero being no volume at all. In my case, I went with 0.05. If we are trying all of this now, there should still be music, but much less. Besides that, inside of game, I want to play one more sound. And that sound should be played once a tile is being added to the field. All of that is going to be your exercise. Which means I want you guys to import the landing sound and then play it once a piece is landing. Pause the video now and try to figure this one out. Back in game.py, we want to start in the dunder init method of the game class. All the way at the bottom, I want to add one more section for the audio. Or I think I called it the sound, but basically the same thing. I want to create self.landing sound. And this I create with pygame.mixer.sound. 
for the path, I want to use os.join, which I also don't have in here. So from os.path import join. And then I can use the join method to go up one folder. Next up, I want to go to sound. Finally, in there, we have landing, which is another music file. Don't forget, this is landing.wav. This is giving us the sound, and I know right away that I want to adjust the volume. So landing sound.set underscore volume. I set this to 0 0.1. All we have to figure out now is when to play it. And the best way I find is inside of create new tetromino. Before we do anything else in there, I simply want to get self.landingsound.play. And that is pretty much it. Just to test this, I want to stop playing the background music so we can hear the landing sound on its own. And you should definitely hear it. Which means we can combine all of this. And that seems to work just fine. With that, we have a really good setup and the game is essentially complete. There's one thing I forgot to add. When you are using music.play, you can add one argument, which is for the loops. For example, if you add a two, this music file would play twice. But for the background music, I want this to play perpetually. And for that, you would have to add a negative one. And well, with that, we have finished up the entire game. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. So then my friends, I really, really hope you enjoyed this series and you learned something along the way. If you did, please, please, please don't forget to share, subscribe and like. That really means a lot. And if you want to access all of my YouTube courses without adverts, also get access to premium courses and early access courses as well, you can do at netninja.dev. You can sign up for NetNinja Pro, which is just $9 a month and also half price for the first month with this promo code right here and for that like i said you get access to every course without adverts without youtube adverts you also get access to exclusive courses not found anywhere else you get access to my premium courses on udemy and also early access to all of my youtube courses as well so the link to this page to sign up is going to be down below again i really hope you enjoyed this series and i'm going to see you in the very next one